Ann Coulter. People get so pissed off at Ann Coulter. I hadn't seen her before, but when her name is mentioned in my circles, motherfuckers go off. I realized I needed to do some research. Generally, I'll read anything and agree somewhat with anybody, even extreme and stupid points of view, because anyone who can get it together to write a book is kind of cool. And the worse the author is, the more I enjoy it. It never fails to capture me in a web of desire. I got that you got me at hello feeling when reading the foreword for Slander, written by high-ass junkie pill popper Rush Limbaugh. I can't believe he was able to put sentences together while on all those fucking drugs, which explains his chaotic and disturbing point of view, and therefore makes him an incredible idiot savant. I dove into Anne's writing, which was a cross between bizarre accusations about liberal politicians and psychobabble hyperbolic lies that make no sense. The conservative men love her because she is a loyal slave to the status quo. She is Kunta Kinte. As well as betraying her gender as a notoriously anti-feminist woman hater, she is also racist, homophobic, without compassion, inhumane, arrogant, dishonest, contradictory, not funny, has an arguing technique that compares closely to, I know you are, but what am I? Wears red leather miniskirts, and is just plain fucking wrong. I can't even quote her because everything she says is too awful for me to repeat. All this, and she isn't even hot. If you're going to be wrong, at least be hot. I'm guilty of some of the biases that Anne has, only in reverse. My prejudice against and hatred of the establishment, the judicial system, anti-abortionists, racism, misogyny, the joining together of church and state, can have me spiraling downward out of control. And maybe my facts could be discounted, and I could be called a liar as well. But I don't give a shit, because at least, I'm hot. I know I may not be pretty in the traditional way, but players line up around the block to make some time with me. Even when they aren't getting it right then and there, the line is just for the wristband, yo. The hotness is not about age, looks, body type, race. It's about honesty, knowing who you are and being who you are, without trying to front yourself as being better than you really are. It's about the down deep authenticity of self, and then looking it, living it, loving it. If Anne were hot, then I could excuse some of her behavior. She only goes to the safe end of her sex appeal, ever so slightly flossing a North Beach leather mini with her long legs and crazy anorexic body. If she had some integrity, she would go get some straight-up fat silicone titties and part her blonde hair in the middle, take a pair of Velcro rollers, and make those stripper forehead curls that make the boys say, What's up, shorty? If she had blonder, bigger hair, that certainly would add credibility to her conservative politics and her upper-class, robotic, bigot, never-had-any-shit-come-down-on-me-like-a-hard-rain-so-why-should-I-care-about-anybody-but-me values. She can't spit her ignorant, angry rhymes successfully with that beige lawyer lipstick. Anne needs to get some Revlon cherries in the snow, the hose lipstick of choice. She's a hoe in sheep's clothing, and it's about time she told the truth, the hoe truth, and nothing but the truth. There's nothing wrong with docking cock for the things you believe in. But don't play the thinking man's bombshell with me. Because Anne doesn't think, and she's nowhere near being the bomb, I just wish that she'd detonate and explode. But the only way she could blow up is to face the 70s porn movie dick-sucking Muzak and own up to her political prostitution. I'm a hoe for the people, and I love that. And I'm proud because I embrace my hoe side and never try to pretend like I know everything about everything because I don't. I don't have to front because I actually care about people. I believe in equality for everyone. All I ask for is that. But that's not possible in the America we live in today for a million reasons, Anne being one of them. She won't put him on the glass, so she's not qualified to throw stones.